Hello, First Pres family. Um, I'm Michael Ann Bell, and my husband, Carrie, and I have been part of First Pres for a long time, um, like 18 years, I think. So we, um, we just love our church family, and I hope you are all doing well. Um, this is my turn to tell you a little bit about what's been going on with us and how God's been walking us through this strange time. Um, I pray that God will use me to encourage you um, today. So as you know, um, we've had some changes in our family. I resigned from my job at the church and that really came out of as things slowed down and our family schedule kind of slowed down. There, there was just something that felt so right about it and I knew that our family needed a time to reconnect and I started asking the Lord what it looked like going forward. And the answer that kind of kept coming back was about the job, which is not what I wanted to hear. Um, but as, as we just talked through that, um, it became clear that, that it, you know, God was calling me out of that. And, um, that was a hard obedience because I love working on staff and I love the kids. Um, but also excited for a new season and and love to focus in on on home and family for for now and so um anyway you guys God's just been so faithful he's he's been faithful to me and letting go and uh the grief of not working in the same way with my with my dear friends at the church and with all of our families um but he's also just been so faithful to our church to bring Kelly there and uh, just the heart she has and the vision that he's giving her and um, and I'm getting to know her as a dear friend and just so thankful he's providing in so many ways um, through that and he's done that in season and out of season big ways and small ways throughout my whole life so so many ways I probably don't even haven't even realized yet and here I am um, just confessing to you that I still struggle um, with completely relying on him and trusting him in this season. Um, you know, I'm learning a lot about humility and a lot about seeking him first. And I have a lot to learn there. Um, one of the things that has kind of been my battle cry, I love in um, Second Chronicles 20, King Jehoshaphat, these armies are coming against him and his people, and he, um, he feels powerless, and it says that he sets to seek the Lord, um, to seek help from the Lord, and I just love his honest prayer and how he says, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. And I feel like that's so applicable always, but just in these past several months, I don't know what to do. I feel like there's more question marks about everything than there are answers. And I'm I'm a person that likes a plan and I like to know the plan and be feel like I kind of have a little bit of control over the plan. And if there's anything we're learning that that is definitely not the case. Um, and so I, I sometimes when I feel anxious or I just am, feel unsettled or off and I can't quite, ugh, I just say, I don't know what to do, Lord, but my eyes are on you. And so I think the Lord is teaching me to seek him more. Um, the, the verse that's taped on the back of my phone, I'm using my phone right now, so we'll see if I get it right, but it's, um, it's out of Psalm 105. And it just says glory in his holy name. Like just start with who God is. May the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. And um, that's just another facet of where, where I've tried to go. 
um, when, when I don't know, I don't know what we're do, gonna do for school or I don't know what we're gonna do for school in six weeks. Um, I don't know um, what, wh what's safe for my kids to do or not safe for my kids to do. I don't know how to interact with my family. And so um, I, I, I know I need to seek him first and to just sit with who he is and then just seek his strength, seek his presence and keep my eyes on that bigger perspective. And so um, some of the ways that God's been ministering to me and encouraging me, two huge ways, staying in his word and community. And a lot of times he's brought those two things together. Um, I get to, um, I've gotten to do a lot of Bible studies um, and they look a lot different and they're with different people than I would usually get to do them with some family members. And sometimes it's been over the, over zoom, which I didn't even know what was 10 months ago. And sometimes it's been online and sometimes it's been at a park and just different things, but God staying in God's word and in community, um, has just been vital during this time. So I encourage you, if you haven't been in a Bible study or if that's something that feels different and scary, just take the first step to reach out to someone, to Emily um, or me or anyone and just say, how do, how do I get started? Or, or what, what can I do to start um, experiencing God's word and, and, and chewing on it and studying it with community? Um, I, um, another, another thing that has just been precious to me in just sitting with the Lord is I love Colossians three. It has a, a deep place in our, in my heart because, um, our marriage verses came from verse 12 to 17 in Colossians three, but God's just really used it in my time of quiet and, and just sometimes really seeking him, even fasting and um, that first part of Colossians 3 talks about putting off the old self and putting on the new self. And it's just led to a lot of good confession time with the Lord, a lot of time of just being humble before Him and, um, and, and asking Him to clothe me with the new self, with that humility and that compassion and that kindness. Um, that comes from him. And then, um, I guess those last few verses in, in that section, um, have kind of been the vision that I feel like God's given me for my marriage and for my family. And so I've been really, um, just praying through that a lot, praying that over my family and taking steps to, um, try to, try to make that um, the heart of our family. And so I just love to close by, by praying that same um, section over you. I think it's like 15 through 17. Um, but thanks, thanks for joining in and, and I miss seeing you all. I'm glad we get to, to see each other more now. And, and, um, and I'll just, I'd love to pray over you. <clears throat> Lord, um, thank you for our church family. Thank you for your word and for community, God. Um, and the reminder that you're always with us and that you're a God who invites us to seek you. And Lord, I, I pray for our church family that your powerful, powerful word of life your son Jesus would dwell richly among us and that we would teach and encourage and admonish one another with all wisdom that comes from you, not earthly wisdom, God. Lord, I pray that we would have grateful hearts and from that would just come songs of praise, that we would worship you and that your spirit would put a song, a new song in each heart. Lord, I pray that everything that we do, whether it be in word or in deed, would be in the name of your Son, our Savior, our Lord, Jesus Christ. And I pray that we would be grateful, Lord. Help us to see the provision, not just the problems. Help us to rely on you and to seek your face continually. Lord, sometimes we don't know what to do, 
but our eyes are on you. Amen. Bye, guys.